Today is Monday, the 20th. What's today, the 22nd? Yeah, today is Monday, the 22nd. Um, anyways, today is Monday, the 22nd. I thought I would vlog today. I have a bunch of pre-op stuff to take care of before my surgery on Thursday. I'm just trying to pre-film so that way you guys have some stuff um, to watch while I can't film because I won't be able to set up and tear down my um, filming setup for a few weeks. So I'm just trying to get some videos filmed. So I thought I hadn't figured I had it in a little clean with me in a while. I only have an hour, so I have an hour to get dressed and straighten up this house. Thankfully, it's not that dirty. So I thought that I would go ahead and just let you guys watch that. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and get into. <laughs>
exactly an hour to clean the house and then it took me about 20 minutes to get ready so now i'm going to go get brian some lunch and take it to him and then i'm gonna go ahead and head to the doctor so yeah that's what we are doing right now chicken wrap with a triple berry oat smoothie and sun chips. Okay, anything else? Um, can I just get a turkey bacon ranch with sun chips and do you guys have like drinks that aren't water? I mean smoothies? test done before 12 45 because that's the actual time of my appointment and I have to get the COVID test I guess to make sure I don't have it for the surgery to make sure I'm going to be okay or whatever I don't know what the point of it is but yeah so yeah I got to get COVID tested first and they have like the drive through ones at UMC and yeah then we'll actually head to my actual appointment <laughs> So COVID testing is no freaking joke and that swab up your nose freaking burns. <sighs> but I did finally get everything done. So I got a chest x-ray, an EKG, a blood drawn, a urine sample, did paperwork, did the COVID testing. And now we are all good to go for Thursday. I just have to call on Wednesday and see what time I got to be here. And then I will have my hernia repaired. And glory to God, there will be no more pain that I have to suffer all the time. So... I'm just excited for that. I got to go pick up Brian now because that's literally how long it took from 12 to 2.30. So I'm going to go pick him up from work and then I'll see you guys whenever we are back home. Okay, so I'm just finally black, black. I'm just finally back to close out this vlog. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update because since my last clip where I had all of my pre-op stuff done, I had the surgery that same Thursday on the 25th. I had my pre-op stuff done on the 22nd. They wanted you to get it done at three days before, obviously, to make sure your heart's good and can and can withhold up against any anesthesia or anything like that. So they check your heart, they check your labs, make sure you're not pregnant and all that jazz. And then they also wanted me to get COVID tested and they wanted that done at three days before and then want you in self-quarantine afterwards just to make sure that you don't get it between then and your surgery. So I had my surgery 
on the 25th, I went in at 10.30. I was in the operating room by 11.30, 12-ish, and I was out of the operating room by 2 p.m., and I left the hospital by 5 p.m., so it was an outpatient procedure. Oh my gosh, my arm hurts. Ooh. So yes, it was an outpatient procedure. Um, the first day, like as soon as, it was really hard for me because they do trach you obviously on anesthesia because you're basically paralyzed during anesthesia. And so like, it's hard for you to breathe on your own. So they trach you, put you on a ventilator. And um, it was really hard for me to like breathe afterwards like I like I just couldn't breathe and all I remember the nurse saying is like come on I need you to take some deep breaths I need you to take some deep breaths and I'm like but it's so hard and then like my throat was really raspy and like it was just so dry I remember like the first thing I asked because they like they like wake you up and mind you I'm used to being called Allie so and on all my medical records it's Alexandria for insurance purposes and so, um, so they're like, Alexandria, Alexandria, and like, I can hear them. And so like, I just found myself like opening and closing my eyes, like trying to look at them. And like, I just remember the first thing I asked was like, did it go okay? And they're like, yes, it went well. And then I was like, okay, where's my husband? Cause he had to go grocery shopping while I was in, um, surgery while I was in surgery. So I was like, okay, where's my husband? And like, I guess I was asking for him a lot and I don't remember because Brian said when they called him, they were like, uh, you might want to hurry because she won't stop asking for you. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. Like even when I'm out of it, like he's the first person that like I look for and stuff. So anyways, that was surgery day. And then afterwards, like as I'm waking up and stuff, she's like, okay, how are you feeling? My blood pressure wouldn't be, wouldn't go high enough. Cause like I said, I couldn't breathe. I was drinking water and like, I it was like working on breathing. And then she's like, okay, we got you good. You're ready to go. And I also did ask for pain medicine right afterwards because it, like I could feel where they cut me. Like it wasn't like excruciating pain, but I could definitely feel like I was sliced. If that makes sense. I don't know. Have you ever had surgery? Do you know what I'm talking about? So, um, there was that. And then, um, so she's like, okay, you're good to go. Go ahead, get up. She's like, you're probably going to feel a little bit nauseous or dizzy just because the anesthesia. And I was like, okay. So like, I'm starting to get up. I take my gown off. I'm still sitting down. I put my, like, my undergarments on and my dress and sitting down. And I get up to put my shoes on. <laughs> and I sit in the chair across from the bed. And I'm like, Brian, like, I'm about to throw up. And that was the most painful thing. Worse than throwing up was a hernia. To throw up without having surgery done on your abdomen was painful. So I think I threw up twice. Once, once, as soon as I got up out of the bed and then as soon as we made it home, I had to go to the bathroom. And then after that, like I ate and then like I ate chicken noodle soup, which stayed down really good. Ate some crackers, drank a Sprite, and I just like chilled that day and like slept for the rest of the day. I just felt sleepy and nauseous and I felt sleepy from the anesthesia and from the anesthesia for like three days. I just always felt sleepy, not tired, like, like exhausted, tired, just like I just wanted to sleep. And so that's one thing that they don't really tell you. They just kind of tell you for that day. But that's one thing they don't tell you is like how long the effects of it last. So I was really sleepy for like three days and then it kind of started wearing off. And then after that, like, so I'm 12 days post-op and up until... Saturday, I, like up until Saturday, which was the July 4th, which was about one week and a couple of days post-op, like everything would just exhaust me like super fast. I would get wounded super fast and now like I get exhausted and I get body aches, but it's not that bad. So I'm recovering. I got my staples out today. 12 days post-op I got my staples out and he said I'm healing good um he did let me know though like if you have a hernia and you get it repaired like I don't know what like causes like the big ball and I'll insert a picture of what it looked like but it literally looked like I was like the top of my stomach was pregnant like it looked like a perfect round like ball was in there like bigger than a softball uh about a so like a little bit bigger than a softball is how big that was like how big my hernia 
appeared to be like the actual hole in my abdomen wasn't big it was maybe like this like the width of these two fingers that was the actual hole in my hernia but like what was coming out of my hernia was like the size of like a large softball and so they push all that back in and the crazy thing is is like everywhere that sh that that stuff was that was sticking out is like now you have like a water mass like a fluid mass and your body will reabsorb it or it'll just push it out but it's crazy to think that my stomach will be even flatter than it is right now so let me just show you guys like what my stomach's looking like now and then i'll insert a side by side of what my stomach looked like with the hernia okay so this is just the incision site. Like I said, I do still look a little bit bloated, but my stomach is a lot flatter. For those of you who have seen me in person, I'm pretty sure you know, like this is a lot flatter than what I used to be. Like, like literally my hernia would stick out to like right here. And my stomach will still get flatter after this. So that's super exciting. So yeah, you guys, that's it for this vlog. I just wanted to tell you guys the process and how I went and how I healed. See, I'm two weeks post-op. Still can't do a lot because I still get super tired. No heavy lifting for four to six weeks. So Brian says I can't do anything till August. So he's making me wait the six weeks. So I got four more weeks till I can start going back to the gym and getting back into it. And then maybe at the four-week mark, I will go to the gym and start walking on the treadmill or just start doing some light workouts here at the house kind of been liking staying at home by myself so um yeah that's it for this video you guys i'm sorry that like there's like a huge gap between my pre-op day and like just everything but it's just been like so crazy so exhausting healing like you don't realize what kind of a toll that healing actually takes on your body especially from surgery i mean but how incredible did god make our bodies like that you could slice open and your body puts itself back together like you know what i mean like it's it's crazy but yeah that is it for this video you guys i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also don't forget to hit that subscribe button i love you guys always remember that jesus loves you more and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.